there and okay that's stuck on three and, and it would change length and everything but but you know and you could do that but it's it's nice to do this because now you can draw r1 just straight down and again 90 degree angles always try and do 90 degree angles not because they're more correct but just because they're easier mathematically to deal with and they are correct okay so Definitely think of this is a point stuck on one, the, the ground, and this is a point you have to think of it as stuck on the ground one. Even though it doesn't look like it's encompassed in the ground, like you could think I could just cut this off and then mold this onto the ground and then it would be easier to visualize it stuck on the ground. But even with this drawing, even though that's a point that doesn't physically appear on the ground, imagine it's stuck on the ground. It's not moving relative to that. So that this will stay fixed and as this three slides back and forth, this will expand and contract and find what you want. Okay, so this point is stuck on one, this point is stuck on three. Okay, and so therefore this is obviously well named three because it's capturing how much this moves. This is obviously well named one because it captures the position and movement of one which isn't moving because it's a, right, it's a, um, it's the ground, okay? So let's, let's draw this. We start here, walk around, plus, plus, minus, minus. Okay, we label it. Do we know R2's magnitude? Yes. Do we know its angle? Yes, it's the input. Do we know R2-3's uh, magnitude? No, we don't, right? As this, as this, as this rotates, our, as theta 2 changes, this pin might go up and down, and the, the length between here will change. We don't know that. Do we know its angle? Yes, we do. And what is that angle? It's always vertical, but here's the tail. So it goes from horizontal all the way around. So it would be 3 pi divided by 2. Okay? It's not negative, you know, it's, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's not everything other than 3 pi divided by 2. It's 3 pi divided by 2, okay? So horizontal there, 3 pi divided by 2 is the correct thing, and we know that, okay? Okay, do we know the magnitude of this? No. That better be a question mark. That's obviously what we care about. I think this mechanism, they have a motor on here, and the output is this translation, and we want to solve for that. So that's what we care about. You better have a question mark over there. And then do we know the angle? Uh, because we put the tail back here, the angle would be zero. Now remember, if we drew the tail over here, and the arrow was going this way, the angle it would be from there to there would be pi. Okay, so just because it's horizontal doesn't make the angle always zero. It might be pi to make the convention work. But in this case, because the tail was back here and you draw the dotted line here, the angle zero. Okay, so we know that. And then R1, do we know the magnitude? Yeah, that's a fixed value that doesn't change as theta 2 changes. It's just the ground length there. And then uh, the angle, what's the angle? 3 pi over 2. Okay? Okay, so we can solve it. Two equations, two question marks. We're good. Okay. So with that, I'm going to stop here and um, we'll pick up in the next uh, video installment here.